Hi, today I'm going to be talking to you about the solution to help solve women's health problems. I will go through with you 1. What are the health problems that women are facing today? 2. Why is there such a drastic increase? 3. One of the main causes to this and also lastly, the solution. So let's start. These are some of the health problems that women everywhere are facing right now. Are you suffering from any one of these? What about your mother, your sisters, or your friends? I, for example, get really bad menstrual pains and it would last for a few days. And when I use sanitary towels or pads, it gets really hot and itchy. I actually go through this every day because I wear pantyliners. It is really uncomfortable. Okay. Going back to the screen, women also suffer from fibroids, which are actually tumors that grow in the uterus. The effect of having this, it would disturb your menstrual cycle, affect your bladder, and give you bad stomach pains. Women also suffer from endometriosis. What does that mean? Well, it's actually when your period blood overflows to the back of your uterus and it can cause a lot of problems. Some of the symptoms of having this is that you get period pains, irregular period and sometimes there are no symptoms at all. It can be that one day something happened and you accidentally found out that you have it and it's already so bad that you would actually have to take out your womb. Your reproductive system. Scary, isn't it? One health problem that we always see happening is cancer and women suffering from cancer is growing rapidly every day. Did you know that it was reported in the newspaper on the 13th of May 2009 that 1,600 women are diagnosed with cervix cancer every single day? One of the main known reasons for cervix cancer is low immune system which can be caused by dioxin. So, why is there an increase of women's health problems nowadays? One of the main causes is the use of pads and panty liners that contain dioxin. I bet you are wondering, what on earth is dioxin? Before exposing to you what dioxin is, let's take a look at how disposable pads and panty liners are made. When we buy pads and panty liners, we see them as very white and clean, but are you aware that they were actually made from dirty old stuff? When our mom sells off old newspaper to the paper man, I bet she didn't know that it was going to be recycled into the pads and panty liners that we use, huh? To make it into sanitary pads and panty liners, all the old recycled waste would go through a very rigorous bleaching process using all these chemicals which would produce a very dangerous toxin called dioxin. Okay, so let's take a look at what actually is dioxin. In short, it's a highly toxic chemical and it is classed as a carcinogen which means that it is a cancer hazard to human. There are also many other health problems that are linked to humans being exposed or using products that contain dioxin like using those recycled pads and panty liners. Using the pads and panty liners that have dioxin in them can cause all this. Dioxin is actually well known for its ability to damage humans' immune system so humans would be more prone to its diseases and illnesses. Dioxin also interferes with the hormonal system. This means that a woman would have imbalanced hormones which could cause infertility, very hard to get pregnant, irregular periods and a lot more. Not just that, dioxin also causes cancer, severe reproductive and development problems. Example of this is learning disabilities and birth defects in babies. Don't you agree that this is happening more now? Dioxin is so dangerous that it's even worse than cyanide. It's even worse than arsenic. Can you imagine how dangerous it is now? And we are using it every day without giving it any thought at all. There are so many reports that show how dangerous it is to use these recycled pads and panty liners. But I guess we never put much thought to it as we didn't feel like we had any other choice. I mean, we can't use cloth like how they did back then to go to work, could we? Of course, cloth is better than these toxic pads and panty liners. And that's why women back then don't get a lot of health problems like we talked about. But 
it just won't be practical, right? Here it says, don't be fooled by the whiteness of these pads. Well now, there is a solution, an alternative to using the toxic pads and panty liners. It's called the FC Bio Sanitary Pad and Panty Liner. After finding out how dangerous the normal pads and panty liners, I stopped using it and started using this bio pad. I have been using it for a while, and trust me, you feel such a difference. You will definitely not want to go back to the normal pads and panty liners. I love the cooling effect. It's no longer hot and itchy down there. I like the soft herbal smell and one important thing is that I don't get any more period pains. And I can tell you what a relief that is. The FC bio pad and panty liners have the features of a normal pad but what's different is that it is made from 100% cotton and it contains a herbal mix. Don't worry, you won't actually see or feel any herbs. It is a patented product. Only 5 herbs are revealed out of the 17 herbs used. You wouldn't want to give out the entire recipe, would you? <laughs> so yeah, this is what the herbs do. As you can see, it reduces discomfort, it kills germs, it absorbs extra body heat, makes you feel cool and comfortable, you won't itch, it eases your period pain, it gets rid of trapped wind so you won't get bloated stomach, it would regulate your period cycle back to normal and many many more. Overall, the herbs would help improve your immunity system and help repair the damage done from years of using the normal toxic pads and panty liners. Good isn't it? I thought so too. The lab reports is just to prove that there are no poisons in the FC bio pads and panty liners. What's also special about FC bio pads and panty liners is that it can also be used by menopausal or menopaused women, men, senior citizen, as well as children. For menopausal and menopaused women, using FC bio panty liner would help treat the damage done from years of using toxic pads and panty liners. For men, it could be used to dispel trapped wind and treat hemorrhoids. You would just need to stick the FC Bio Panty Liner to that area. The FC Bio Panty Liner would also help senior citizens by destroying germs and thus reduce the number of times they would have to go to the toilet, which is very bothersome, especially during the night. Children are also exposed to dioxin since the process of producing diapers are very much like producing toxic pads and panty liners where both use recycled materials and both going through the same bleaching process. However, since there is yet an FC Bio diaper, the FC Bio panty liner can be used for babies and children by placing it on top of the diaper. For newborns, you cut the FC Bio panty liner and place a piece on top of the baby's umbilical cord. The herbs in the panty liner would help the umbilical cord dry and come off faster. Multi-purpose, don't you think? So there you go. This sums up why you should stop using the normal toxic pads and panty liners and substitute it with these safe bio-herbal pads and panty liners. Start now. Share this with your family, friends and other people. Save yourself. Remember that it is better to prevent than to cure. There's no harm at all in trying, is there? If you think that it's expensive, it's not. And when you use this, you wouldn't need to replace it often like you do with the normal pads and panty liners. So you're already safe there. And I can guarantee that once you start using it, you would not want to go back to the normal pads and panty liners. For example, I've only used it for two days and can feel a big difference already. Start saving yourself today. Thank you for listening.